episode four of Two Phillips. Two Shopsmiths. If you are wondering, what am I, I am holding now is a piece of wood that we are going to use as a pen blank. And this is pretty much just the... Uh, Hardware? Sat, satin gold and how the pen will work. Yeah, so that's hardware for the pen, and we chose that in gold to go along with the wood. What kind of wood do you think that might be? Might be cherry. We're not 100% sure because that is reclaimed wood, isn't it? Yeah. So one of its sides looks really, really rough. Yeah, right. this side. And a little bit on the on this side. So we did the first thing already. We picked some wood, and we picked hardware for a pen. So, so now we need to cut the blanks. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to cut our pen blanks. So I have a little simple cross-cut sled that I made for my bandsaw here out of some scrap. You don't really need this if you have just a miter gauge, that's fine too. The thing I like about this is it lets me set a stop for my depth and what I'm doing is I'm pretty much just looking at my two and I'm lining it up to the line. Let me show you this but we are doing from the side. Yeah, so I can put the two here up to the stop and you'll notice I have about an eighth of an inch I'm from the line that has been cut into my sled and the end of my tube, which is about what you want. Just a little extra. And that's that. So now we have to drill them. Next thing we want to do is we're going to grab our two blanks and we want to mark the centers. The easiest way to do that is to use a center marking gauge like this. You can get these commercially. This is just something I 3D printed using a design from the Thingiverse online. If you have a 3D printer, you're probably already familiar with that. And it works pretty simply. You just Line up a corner, strike a line, and just keep twisting it. Strike your lines all the way around, and then I'm going to use an awl in the center of those four lines here in a bit. Now, you don't have to be exactly in the center, but this really helps if your blanks are a little bit smaller than you would like and you don't have a lot of extra. We're actually making a trim line pen today and we're using three quarters of blanks. Trim line, pen? trim line pen is a thinner pen and there are different styles of pens. So it's a very popular style. Uh, these are three quarter inch blanks and I actually made these uh, with some reclaimed wood that was three quarters thick, and I just ripped it so that it was also three quarters inches wide. So now that we have these two things marked, I'm going to grab an awl and I'm going to punch them so that it's easier to line it up on the drill press. So now we just mark the centers. And so we want to center drill these. Now there's a couple ways you can go. You can do this on the lathe. Um, I'm actually going to use this really awful looking piece of junk that I made out of a 2x4 and an old hinge. And basically how does this work? You just shove it in there, you squeeze it, you line it up on your drill press and you drill it. So I have a seven millimeter drill bit here. That's pretty standard size for these smaller pens. Now, some people like to hold this. I actually tend to just use a quick clamp instead. And I'm gonna get lined up. And here again, you could just hand mold this. I tend to like to clamp it down. And that gives me just a little bit better of a hole. 